Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Catio Chat this morning. We're going to make our way out to the kitchen, get the lights on. All right. And see if we have any kitties. There's a couple of kitties. There they are. And there's Bear and Miss Muffy. I wonder where the weather kitty is this morning. Is he at the door? Let's see. Oh, there's our weather kitty. All right. Good boy, Loki. There goes Loki out into the fresh, cool air. And I'm going to follow him because, oh, it just feels amazing out here. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, just. And it's very dark. And we're out on our catio. So this is a... Uh, this is something we built about eight years ago, <clears throat> excuse me, for our kitties. So they'd have more than just living inside a big box. Well, now they have a, a great big box outside they can play in. <laughs> it's all screened in. They can't get out and nothing can get in. And it's a great place to be on a nice warm sunny day. Right, Bear? There's Mr. Bear. All right. Did you want to go out? Yeah, no. Let's get your chair. You want to get up? Bear, you want to get up? Uh-oh, he's going to the cabinet. Here you go, buddy. You want to get up on your chair? There. See if we can distract him from paddling on the treat cabinet. Hmm. Yep, there he goes. All right. There goes Bear. Getting up on his table. Something he does every single morning, and he goes over. <laughs> there he goes. There! Everything is good now. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to come down here and visit with this little tiny kitty right here. This little tiny kitty is Miss Muffy, a.k.a. Bubs. Um, she was born in 1999. She's our oldest and our littlest kitty. Here she is, looking up at Mr. Bear. <laughs> yep, she's 25 years old. It's the oldest kitty we have ever had. We've had lots of old kitties. Um, but let me see, the last batch of kitties that Miss Muffy was with, <laughs> so long ago, they all lived up into their high, high teens um, when they when they left us. So we've always had long, long living kitties. <laughs> Haven't we, Bear? Yeah, we're gonna get the coffee pot on too because I'm gonna need a coffee in a few minutes. There we go. There, this is our morning routine every day. And you'll have to forgive me, I think I might be catching a cold. I uh, feel a little bit nasally. <laughs> Yeah, and I just had a big giant sneeze before I left the bathroom, so. So I might be catching a cold. Yeah, I haven't had a cold in years though. I mean, it's been years. So hopefully I won't get one. <laughs> well, here we are in our dining room. This is where, well, we spend a lot of time in the dining room. I, uh, I paint in the dining room. So, this is a painting that I'm working on right now. And this is Callie Cat. She uh, used to be my mom's cat, and then she went to live with my sister. And uh, recently she crossed over the Rainbow Bridge, unfortunately. So, I'm doing a painting of her for my mom for Christmas. <clears throat> yeah, so I mess around with paint. I did that one over there above Miss Muffy. Just a, a playful thing, but those are all our kitties on there. Bear's on the top, Luna's next, Miss Muffy and Loki on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. There, all right. Well, Bear's in place. He's gnawing on his foot. Yeah. <laughs> you want a pet, Bear? We'll come in for a pet. Yeah. There's Mr. Bear. He loves to be petted. There he is. 
Yes, so Bear has a birthday this week. Oh my goodness. Let me see if there's anything on the table that might look like birthday stuff. Hmm. I wonder if Bear will wear his birthday hat. We should place our bet. <laughs> Hi, Bear. Are you going to wear your birthday hat? I don't know. We're going to try. Oop, I see Loki's little face. <laughs> and Betty's looking for someone to come out. Hi, Loki. Here's Loki. He's coming in. It's pretty chilly out there this morning. Hmm. Feels like it might be about, I don't know, seven or eight degrees. But the colder weather is a coming, isn't it, Bear? Yep. It's a coming. And it's coming to Canada. It always does. Seems like, though, I don't know, the last 10 or 15 years, our summers go right into, or well, our falls, I should say, go right into January. I guess the weather kitty forgot to... To do something. Oh, oh, he found something to eat <laughs> on the floor. Hi, Loki. There's Loki. He's going out again. Check the weather again. Yep. Oh, it feels so nice. I don't blame him for coming out. There he is. There's Loki with his skinny little legs. Oh, that air is just incredible. Yeah, so our, the rest of our kitties are all hanging around inside because... We get a treat afterwards, don't we, Bear? We get a little breakfast treat. Yep. So this is Bear, our big polydactyl kitty. He's got extra toes everywhere, even on the back feet. And I hear Miss Luna. There she is. There's beautiful Luna. Hi. What are you doing over there? Hmm? What you doing over there? Are you waiting for your treat this morning? We'll be, we'll be getting it pretty soon, probably in about five minutes, yep. We have it every day, right after Caddy check. Right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Luna is such a communicator. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. Luna is a communicator. That's for sure. Well, there's all three of our kitties. Luna's kind of gotten on to waiting for her breakfast treat. I see Loki again. <laughs> in and out. In and out. There he comes. You coming in, Loki? Good boy. It's kind of cold out here this morning. It's Quite cold out there this morning, actually. Hey, <laughs> Loki, hugging the cabinet with his tail. <laughs> he does that to me all the time. Isn't that cute? A tail hug. <laughs> I love tail hugs. Head bumps and tail hugs. That's where the tail hugs come from, Mr. Loki. He's way over there by the door, and he's going to scratch on that door because. Loki thinks he wants to be an outdoor kitty, but I keep telling him it's just not going to work out because he's too beautiful to let loose, for one thing. And there's too many dangers out there, Loki. Yep, there he goes. He's paddling on the door. But right after we're done, we'll go downstairs on Loki's carpet <clears throat> and we'll have a big visit and he'll forget all about the door. That's what we do. And it only happens in the morning early like this that he uh, he paddles on the doors. It seems like it's an early morning thing. Yeah, because Loki got out once and uh, that was the story I told yesterday. And ever since he got out, he's always wanted to get out again. So. I feel terrible being his captor, but I also have to remember that he's much safer in here. Yeah. Come here, Loki. Here, buddy. Come on over. <laughs> yeah. He said, well, how am I going to get through the gauntlet of girls there? The girl kitty gauntlet. Uh oh, here he comes. 
hi. Are you going to be good to Loki when he comes through? Well, I guess he took another way around, but he still got to go past Luna. <laughs> yeah. There's Loki. There he is. What a good boy, Loki. There. <laughs> he got through. There, and there's Bear up above. All right. Well, I guess since we've seen everyone, everyone's fit as a fiddle. Hi, Lou. <laughs> We're going to wrap this up and call a catio chat for today. Aw, Luna. There. And don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.